Hi friends, welcome back to God of Gizmos. My name is Satish Kumar Purswani. Today we are going to see how to use switch if empty method on mono or flux in spring back flux. Okay, so uh, in my earlier videos you must have seen how to create mono or flux using various different methods that are available. But today I am going to tell you about the significance of switch if empty in spring web flux. So without wasting much time, let's begin. So moving to IntelliJ, uh, we can see uh, I've created this class, okay, learn switch of MT. And you can see I've created these two, uh, uh, these two methods, which are actually mocking the database calls. Okay, one is will be returning the value after some duration, like randomly I've said that to delay it for some few seconds. Okay, after that, uh, with empty value, like where there will be a success uh, will be returning from the database, but there will be no value at all. Okay, so uh, in the in that case, I've also delayed it for few seconds, and then it will be returning a success. Okay, we will be using these calls to test our switch of empty. Okay, moving forward, I have created one more method that is inside empty, and this method we will be using to call uh, whenever we are calling switch of empty, so that we get to know our switch of empty is being called, and this is what uh, the value will be returned if switch of empty is called in the console. You can see this value getting printed and in this case like where the value is coming from the database there will be there will be my value coming in okay so you can see uh, I have also stated some start time and end time but that's okay you can ignore that uh, it was just uh, for like how much seconds or how much random seconds uh, it is taking so that's fine uh, you can see this these are two calls we will be making uh, as of now I've commented out the empty one okay but uh, I've kept kept the value uh, the database call which is returning the value okay so I will be using this object of mono and I will be doing a dot map map is just a simple transformer so I will be uh, showing this in my upcoming videos but as of now you take it as a transformer okay just transforming the values that are coming in so whatever value is coming in I will be concatting that with uh, concatting by Satish Kumar okay and uh, what we will do is uh, we will then do a switch of empty in case the value is empty emitted empty from the database then we are going to call this method right which we have already created and then going forward what we will do is we will do a subscribe okay so uh, in subscribe uh, we will be using the third one like you already know that I have shown you in my earlier videos if you have watched okay and I will say um, god okay give me a second I will system dot out dot println and I will say um, got this value from db and I will be concatting the value that we are getting that is o okay and um, what I will do is I will also take throwable if there is any error so that we get to know the error is coming in from the stream okay this is our error which will not be the case I feel in this scenario okay and this will be printing the object and then of course the on complete method and we will say emitting completed or whatever okay so we will say emitting complete okay Excu excuse me for the typo okay let let me just execute this so what what will happen is uh, whenever uh, a value is emitted from the database it will be concatenating this value okay this value and it will be printing that out in here got this value from DB okay if there is any error so this will be printed this is our error and what what is the error okay and if the emitted emitting is completed successfully then on complete uh, method will be called and emitting uh, complete will be called okay so I mean uh, these these cases can be uh, simultaneously happening so let me execute this for you okay 
okay so now you can see what is happening is uh, switch of empty is being called okay got this value from db so my value has come up and you can see uh, this is the string that has been concatenated okay so my value is coming in from the database got this value from db is coming in from here and con concatenating is coming in from the transformer or the map okay then you can see uh, the emitting has completed successfully and this is the time that we have noted okay now you can see even if the value that is coming in from the database still our switch if empty is being called so that is incorrect we do not want that to be called okay so in that case what you can do is you can actually if you are emitting a mono you must be knowing whatever you are emitting you have to use mono dot defer okay in mono dot defer you will have to uh, call this method inside that okay and now we will execute this again so you will see all the values will be coming in properly like this value these two values and this will not be coming in because the value is getting emitted from database right so I will be executing this again for you see uh, now since the value is not empty from the database the uh, uh, mapping is happening and emitting is getting completed after like consuming the value okay now let me call let me call this this method where we are just uh, emitting a empty value so in that case uh, mapping should not happen because map mapping will only work if the value is coming in from the database okay but uh, like we will be getting this complete event and whatever the value which is getting printed inside empty method let me execute this for you see inside switch of empty method called so this is this is the string that we are printing okay and emitting is getting completed so you have to make sure that even if you uh, put this like switch uh, dot map after switch if empty that's fine that is uh, totally fine so I will execute this again for you okay so there is no issue right but in case in case if you are using switch if empty inside method in inside method is returning empty in case you are returning something from here from switch if empty and you are using a map method after that so let's see what happens okay now uh, I will say switch of empty uh, let's say subscribers okay and let me execute this for you so switch of empty is actually emitting something right so if you see now got this value from database is coming in from the consumer okay and switch of empty subscribers is coming in from here okay and then it is getting on concatenated by concatenating by Satish Kumar so uh, you see you have to be careful while using a switch of empty and you have to be careful where you are uh, placing your map method okay it should be uh, very much safely placed if you are using switch of empty and switch of empty should try to emit that empty values are emitted from switch of empty and empty values are written so uh, hope you like this video you have understood what is the use of mono dot defer okay what is the use of switch of empty and how to place map method uh, in the upcoming tutorials what I will do is I will try to tell you about how to use a map method and uh, it is pretty simple you, have, you might have figured it out from this tutorial as well but I will still be creating one more uh, video for this so stay tuned uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video